Okay, I've got um, a very interesting one here this morning. It's um, a late 90s Jeep, uh, Jeep uh, Grand Cherokee Laredo. Um, I'm not yet so sure about the exact year, but um, it has a 4 litre uh, straight 6 um, gasoline engine uh, with a very, very interesting symptom or problem um it it um it will crank it, it will crank and not start i don't want to say intermittently i want to say most of the time it will crank and not start uh once in a while it will crank and start like it has no problem at all um Sam and Ivan have been on the car before me. What they have already discovered is that check engine light. See that? If it stays on like that, if I cranked it now, it would start. If you turn the... Uh, it is now in uh, key on engine off uh, mode, but if you switch, if you turn the key off, and bring it back to key on engine off let me try it and see if, if it will happen and that check engine light either doesn't come on or it comes on for a moment and then disappears the car will crank but it won't start i'm turning the key off now turning it on again and right now see that just that i flipped the key off and on again and it won't crank uh because the check engine light is not showing uh the key jeep keys uh at least of um, this generation are very interesting right now that's accessories position move it forward that is off or in fact that's lock i can take the key out see that um in fact ivan and uh, sam got confused initially they thought there was something wrong with the ignition key and the lock and now the next position um is off i think let's go through it again accessories you just had the beep in fact the radio uh, the stereo clock is showing in that position what should normally be the lock position? See that? Now, in that position, that is lock. You can take the key out. Hmm? In this one, you can't. That is lock. That is off because nothing is happening. And when you get to that, that is now... Um, key on engine off and you can see on the instrument cluster abs warning lamps are on if i try to crank hear that it won't start now i don't know if i'm going to catch this again it takes a while to do it and i don't have enough time this morning uh i'm in a hurry i have um a class to teach but I'm going to lock it. See now that is that's accessories I think. Off ignition out. I'm going to attempt to try put the key in and take it all the way. Nah, it's not going to it's not going to start. Initially when I started shooting this, remember when the check engine light was showing, if I'd cranked it, you would have had the engine start without a problem. When it's when it, um when the check engine light shows and doesn't go away, this vehicle will crank and start immediately without a problem. So we are chasing some kind of um, a phantom. 
at the moment um, this vehicle has been here for a day or so the problem looks like it's an easy one it isn't initially we thought it was a matter of just realize we've had to catch up on our knowledge of uh, Chrysler um, we've discovered that the uh, Chrysler's uh, at least those of uh, this generation have um, uh, what is called an ASD really automatic shutdown really um, that really will power uh, just about everything from uh, injectors coil because this car has a distributor it has a single coil uh, oxygen sensor heaters um, and even uh, on another uh, leg of that uh, transistor that controls the ASD relay uh, it, it also controls the fuel uh, pump for all intents and purposes the ASD really works exactly like the fuel pump really they will only those two relays will be uh, will be turned on the moment you turn the key on in the ignition they will be turned on for a second or two I think that's to prime the fuel to run the fuel pump for a few seconds to prime the pump and then they'll go off and we'll wait for um, a speed signal from the crankshaft position sensor without that signal those relays uh, won't operate so I think it was a design for Chrysler to um, to prevent fires in case of accidents crashes something like that you've seen it in movies uh, car crashes catches fire I don't know how easily that happens I've never been involved in um, an incident like that but uh, I think that's what Chrysler was trying to prevent that as soon as the engine dies uh, you won't get any power on the injectors on the uh, coil so you won't get spark etc etc so uh, that's what we are going to be dealing with this morning. I'm going to go out to the engine control module because it is in the engine bay and try to test for uh, test the powers and grounds. I think that's uh, a bit of a routine. And then I'll see how far I get from here. Uh, very interesting and strange symptoms. Oh, something else that Ivan told me is that uh, when this vehicle won't run, uh, the PCM, the powertrain control module, will not communicate with the, any scan tools, like it's dead totally. So um, I'm going to take him on his word for that. Uh, well, what the hell? Let me get a scan tool and try to communicate with this thing. And you see for yourself okay uh, you can now see it's taking forever I'm trying to get into the engine control module uh, but it's taking forever about it and it's I can tell you it's not going to get in I've tried this is uh, manufacturer specific software I'm using now but a few minutes ago I used OBD2 software that failed too uh, I went into because the ABS light stays on see that I went into the ABS system and it had um, uh, a, a, a fault code for uh, left front uh, wheel speed sensor I think there is a fault on that that's why that light is staying on so uh, the diagnostic tool can communicate with the ABS control module on the same uh, DLC it should be able to communicate with the engine control module and uh, as you can see um, it's, it's not going to communicate for sure um, and uh, it, it does intermittently when the uh, check engine light shows like it should before you in, in key on engine off it actually cranks I'll 
in uh, if I see the check engine light staying on I'll attempt to uh, get into using the scan tool to get into the engine control module again and show you that it does communicate um, so we have a situation where the check engine light is not showing engine control mode is not um, is is not communicating that tells me initially uh, it makes me suspect if the engine control module is alive uh, a quick test for that to prove that i'm going to uh, go under the uh, under the the, the the bonnet and try I'll, I'll look for an easy sensor to get to probably the TPS and uh, look for a 5 volt reference and I'll also test for the uh, sensor ground um, at that same connector look uh, it says unknown variant yada 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 basically not going to communicate Looks easy, but uh, becoming tricky. Okay, next thing to check, according to the wiring diagram, we have um, three connectors here. This is on up. One, two, three. I don't know if you can see them properly, but uh, there is a black one, a white one, and a gray one. The black one is A. Now, according to the wiring diagram, uh, Ivan Ivan I'm using Ivan's phone to I sent Ivan a copy of the wiring diagram because I'm using my phone now to record this so I can't show it I can't read it at the same time as record. Uh, Ivan's phone is playing. Okay, I've seen it. I've got it. Uh, socket A2 is. This is socket uh, A. So pin number 2 is ignition switch. Battery power should have battery power with the ignition on. So if I have this on the ground and pin it. Just like in here, it should lie. Uh, when I turn the key on. Yes, it's the same body key there. Ow. Ow. Key is on, but um, I don't know if you can see it this brightly on the camera. But the light will show. I'm not so sure you can see it on the camera because um, of all the sunshine, but this just like is bright. Uh, the other connector we are inter interested in is uh, the wire A22 on connector A, but wire 22 should have, should be hot all the time with the battery on. Need to show you that. See that this light is bright. If I took it out, you see it goes out. Put it back. I put it back, and you can see it's bright. I take it out. It's off. Just touch it. And the wire and so on off. That's me now doing that. So we've got power there. 
We've got two grounds on A31 and A32. positive terminal. A31, light is bright. So the background is good. A32, light is bright. So as far as I could identify the um, power and ground sources for this computer. Uh, they are good. I'm not very sure, though, because of this type of thing. Maybe we are losing, when we put this back, maybe we are losing some connectivity when we put it back. But I saw 5 volt vo um, sensor voltage reference on both the map and TPS sensors with the key in the on position so that tells me the computer is alive but for some reason it won't turn on the check engine light it won't communicate um, and when you crank the key uh, the car won't run so i need to find out what else we are missing um, according to the wiring diagram i need to check that the LSD really and the fuel pump really are working um on this this is the asd and this is the fuel pump really i'm just going to touch them and try to listen to them when i turn the key on and off to feel if they are striking So these relays are working. The question is, are they delivering power to the circuit that they should? I'm going to check that they are delivering power at least to one injector. It should come on. Uh, when I turn the key on, it should turn on for a second or two and then go off because the ASD relay waits for uh, a signal from the crankshaft position sensor to keep the ASD the engine control module waits for a signal from the, uh, from the crankshaft position sensor to keep the ASD and fuel pump relays on all the time otherwise if it doesn't see that signal it will turn them off in a couple of seconds so I'm just going to verify that those relays are actually working. I'm going to go up to the injector to the easiest one for me to check here. This is injector number injector number four. Right. Uh, I'm not sure at this point. I'm connected to. But I'll see that when I uh, do the test I'm going. Okay, I stop for a moment, for a second. I saw that injector. Uh, that the, um, I saw this light flash. Okay, I wanted to show you something very quick here. Um, I'm trying to find out if the ASD really actually works although i can hear it strike i'm trying to verify that it's actually working um, the computer engine control module is turning it on so i'm on injector number four um 
if you follow that gray wire, it goes all the way to the just like uh, on the uh, negative battery terminal. And the lighting here is very bright, the sun uh, shine is very bright, but I want to keep you focused on the test light around there, that's where the lamp is. Uh, what I'm looking for is when I turn the ignition on, when I turn the ignition on, I want to see um, that test light come on for a second or two. That will confirm that the ASD really and the fuel pump are actually working. Not just striking, but they are working. Their circuits are fine. Okay, key on. I think I need to turn the, um, the lamp off. Okay, the uh, sun is making it really difficult to see a lot of things on the camera now, but um, I'm on the camshaft position sensor signal line now. It's uh, You can see it is hanging high. Although there is um, voltage, uh, 5 voltage reference uh, jumping around, I don't like that doesn't look very clean anyway i'll crank it and see if we have a plausible uh, camshaft position sensor signal and as you can see clearly well i don't know how clear it is on the camera until um i start editing it but um i definitely have uh, a crankshaft rather a camshaft position sensor signal of sorts. I'll do that again. Seems quite slow to me. Maybe it's got like one or just two teeth um, that it's sinking off, that the sensor is sinking off. But I don't like the um, I don't know if you can see them. I don't like, I would want to see a straight line, five volts, stable, but I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing it walking all over. It's, it's not really five volts that is stable. It's, I may have dirty ground on this, so probably dirty ground somewhere. Or maybe my ground is dirty because I'm grounding the oscilloscope at the battery negative terminal. Okay, I'm um, now on the crankshaft position sensor. Um, I'll try to crank the vehicle so you see for yourself. I don't know how well you can see that, but that sensor is certainly working. Have a look again. My hands were a bit shaky in that shot. I'm going to repeat it. Crank sensor is crank sensor is working. Hmm. Okay, this is uh, our arrangement for checking spark. We have the ground connection of the test light onto the uh, negative terminal of the battery, and we have the test light um, pin just peeping at the coil terminal. Um, Ivan is going to crank it for me so you you can see that we actually don't have a spark. You can see very clearly we don't have spark. So we probably don't have the pump running as well. Um, at this stage it is beginning to look more like a computer problem. A PCM problem.
okay the next step now is um, I just want to check um, the signal line uh, of the crankshaft mm -hmm. position sensor and the camshaft position sensor um, I saw signals at a connector uh, very near the sensors I saw signals on both lines um, so I have cam and uh, crank position signals from the sensors but I need to be sure that those signals are actually getting to the computer so looking at the wiring diagram my next step was to look up uh, the terminals for the respective uh, sen signal sensors rather sensor signals and prove that these signals are actually getting to the PCM so uh, for this one I'm going to use um, an ohmmeter because I mean it's just um, they're just signals so they are, they are not um, um, they, are, they are not uh, really loaded circuits they're just voltage sensing circuits so um, I don't really need to um, load test them, so to say. Um, I just need to prove that there is continuity from the sensor there, that the camshaft position sensor signal line. Hope you can see it. And it terminates at uh, terminal 18 here which is that I think you can hear the multimeter and uh, now I will do the same for the camshaft position sensor signal which is That's the sensor signal line, and here it terminates on terminal 18. And I think you can hear the um, ohmmeter um, beeping, so that shows we have good uh, signal wires. Okay, now I had reservations about. Um, the connections of the pins from the engine control module mating into these connectors so I went to uh, I uh, use the um, the amp probe on this um, on, 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 the, on my multimeter to check just to be sure that these at least these ground wires and uh, just to recap these are the two ground wires this one and this one for this PCM the main ground wires this cable here red and yellow uh, gives the uh, the PCM battery voltage it's hot at all times and there is another was it orange wire this one yeah that wire is the uh, one that gives the PCM uh, battery voltage with the T on you can see it's a smaller gauge wire so it's probably just um, a signal wire from the ignition key to the PCM um, to indicate that uh, to indicate to the PCM that the key is in the on position this thicker gauge wire the red and yellow is the one that um, I think feeds uh, most of the circuits um, with power the circuit that um, the, the PCM powers and controls and then it uses these two main grounds now what I did was to use the amp probe and in that um, amp setting yeah um, zeroing it I went on to this wire with the with this one actually with both of them i found between 0.5 uh, it they peak at about 
0.09 amps one of them peaks at about 1.09 the other at about 1.2 amps and then they fall off to a steady about 0.64 amps with a key in the on position as soon as you move it to the on position they peak and then they stabilize at about 0.6 amps this um, thicker gauge wire here um, also does the same thing it's the wire from uh, the battery uh, through a fuse straight to the PCM hot all the time and this smaller orange wire I didn't see uh, much current on it I think it's I still think it's just a signal wire it's just used as a signal to the PCM uh, that the key is in the on position on the run is in the run position and actually this red yellow wire is the one that um, feeds most of the circuits um, that are controlled by the PCM that's why it's thicker so uh, that removes uh, my doubts about the contacts uh, the pins on the PCM making contact with the terminals um, from the wires on these connectors um, right now it's looking like a bad PCM okay before um, passing judgment on any engine control module it's always important to um, double check um, that the computer is actually the problem um, we saw earlier that the computer is receiving the crank and camshaft position sensor signals and now uh, just to make the um, activity of the ASD really more vivid to you I've uh, connected uh, my oscilloscope to inject on number 3 power uh, wire here and uh, that's the oscilloscope right there I'm going to turn the key on for you see that look at that signal I've turned the key off I'm going to wait about 10 seconds and do it again, but um, um, that shows me on the oscilloscope that uh, the ASD uh, momentarily, for just a second or so, uh, powers the injectors. I'm going to repeat this test on the coil, but before that, let me redo it on the um, on the injector circuit okay, number two switch off and on did you catch that uh, it went by so quickly uh, like it's only like a second on the screen but I'm going to do it at that time just to show you once again that the ASD really actually works and powers the injectors at least for a second or two and then um, is shut off by the power train control module for some reason um, ready key on again did you see that um, I'm at the injector I'm going to repeat this on the um, ignition coil down there connected to the uh, coil power wire uh, um, battery positive uh, wire for the coil once again and I'll bring you back to the oscilloscope uh, key is off right now I'm going to turn it on you see that um, I'm going to repeat it again uh, we are seeing the same thing we saw at the injector uh, the battery voltage shows up for just a moment and runs away so to say see there it is again I've just turned the key on I'm going to do it a third time 
And um, okay, ready? I'm going to do it uh, third time. Here we go. There, did you see that? Um, SD and fuel pump relays are working fine. For some reason, computer turns on the um, this circuit, turns them off. I'm going to try to crank again so you see that um, when it should return the power all the time uh, with a crank signal, it doesn't. you can see nothing happened I'm going to do it a second time crank it again and it doesn't once again to prove that the uh, power control mode is in charge of this uh, relay um, ASD really sitting right here I'm going to turn the key off for about 5 seconds and then put it in the on position and you see that uh, for just a moment it does um, control the relay and powers the coil and injectors. Okay, ready? Then turn the key. There we go. Yeah, I'm um, left with a uh, few options now and to look at the this guy here. That guy there, power train control module. 